that is that is repulsive. You didn't like it? No, I can't. Really? That is disgusting. How can you put that? How can you eat that? Alright, hello! I'm with my very special friend Darren here today. What's up, David? Darren's definitely one of my oldest friends in Shanghai. Um, so today we're trying Anhui cuisine. Hui Tai. Oh, yeah, yeah, the Hui Tai. So it's part three of eight of um, Chinese great regional cuisine. So, do you know anything about Anhui cuisine? Uh, I know that it stinks. <laughs> Not, not that it, not that it tastes bad. Just like it physically, it physically stinks. Not like all it, of it stinks, so. Yeah, but the fa yeah, but it's famous for stinking. Like you that say Anhui food, most people say stinky tofu with that stinky fish. Right, right, right. Yeah, well, um, okay. <laughs> to Darren's credit, we are ordering some peculiar dishes today. Let's say the the stinky mandarin fish. That's literally what it's called, and the hairy tofu. They literally ferment the tofu so it's all mouldy and hairy, looks like fur, and then they deep fry it. I wonder... Are we going to eat that today? I wonder like who came up with the idea of eating that. I don't and know. how they convinced other people to eat it as well. I literally just asked the waiter whether that's safe to consume and she she ensured us that it is. This model is for the safety. So Anhui cuisine is actually one of the oldest cuisines out of the eight. But the interesting part is I say this cuisine is the only one out of the eight that's never travelled outside of China. It's very it's very local and I would hedge to say that not many Westerners will know about this cuisine. No, no, no. no. Um, in fact, I never even tried Anhui cuisine, so I'm hoping it's going to be eye-opening. Okay, so Anhui is located in eastern China. It's a very landlocked region. So because of that, um, Anhui produced lots of merchants that needed to trade to get other resources. So. Um, one time in ancient Chinese history, Anhui cuisine was without doubt the number one cuisine in China. Because all these merchants, when they went to other places, they opened up their own restaurants. So everywhere across China was eating Anhui cuisine. Oh, I see. Oh, so like Anhui people were the first ones to like leave their province and go to, to trade. Like other, uh, yeah, 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 to trade. Yeah, yeah. Another interesting fact is that um, because it's located um, where it is, it's got lots of mountains and forests. That's where the Yellow Mountain is. Their chefs, Anhui chefs, actually like to forage instead of cultivate. So, so it's then they'll go and just look for it in the forest. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, it's got lots of wild ingredients. So they pick out lots of wild herbs, wild mushrooms, wild game, which I really like about it. It's really interesting. Yeah. Yeah, I think I think it's the most hunter gatherer cuisine out of all of them. Yeah. Oh wow. Yeah, yeah. So it's very interesting. Old school, man. Old school, old school, definitely. Well, I hope you're excited, mate.
Right, okay. The first dish arriving is the rabbit's leg. Mm -hmm. it smells absolutely amazing. It does smell really good. Cheers. Slaan chef. Oh, it's good. It's really good. Very soft. Mm. It's really lean me as well. What do you think? Yeah, it's really good. They cook it very well. I like the spices that are all around it. These bread corns add a lot to the flavour. Really good seasoning as well. Really good seasoning. Yeah, it's seasoned perfectly. They did a very good job here. Now eating this, I'm not worried about eating anything that's stinky anymore. Yeah, and neither I, am I to be honest. This really sets the tone for the rest of the meal. Okay, this looks absolutely amazing. It really does, it looks so good. The color looks amazing. Remember why I said Anhui is famous for braising dishes? Yeah. This is the one pot chicken where they braise everything together and these are like cornmeal bread, I believe. Let's just try a bit of the chicken. That looks just juicy and succulent. It really, really does. Cheers. Slob chef. Oh yeah. I ate some good chicken, eh? Definitely going to try that bread um, dipped in this lovely braising liquid. Mm. The bread is, is, again, a very hearty dish, right? Yeah, hearty. That's an excellent way to describe it. It really is. I'm digging Anhui cuisine, man. Like, Never had it, but it's good. Yeah, it makes you want to go watch an play. What I like about it so far is it's very localized. It's like, it's nothing too flashy or trying to be something. It's, yeah, it's not trying to be something other than what it is. Yeah. It's very down to earth cuisine as well. It's very hearty, not pretentious, right? It feels like something your mother would make for you when you're sick. Definitely, definitely. And do you like that aspect about it? Yeah, yeah, it's a good aspect of it, yeah. Okay, so this is a hairy tofu. Um, it's been deep fried, I can see a bit of hair on it actually. Now, Darren's actually really brave. He just, he just picked it up and put one in his mouth straight away. Looking at it, I don't know. I'm a pretty adventurous eater, but this looks... This hey looks man, think of it like this. You spent money on this food, you might as well get your money's worth. Worst comes to the worst, I'll eat it. Fair, like, what did it taste like? Actually, let, 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 let me figure it out myself. Come on then. Yeah, yeah. This this is one of, if not by far, the weirdest thing I've eaten. Yeah, I agree with you on that one. It is one of the weirdest things I've ever eaten either. It looks like this is well. chili sauce, chili paste, you dip with it as well. Alrighty, hairy tofu in China. In Dipped in chili sauce. Let's go. Let's go. It does go well with the uh, tofu, the dipping sauce. <sighs> you alright? That is... That is repulsive. You didn't like it? No, I can't. Really? That is disgusting. How can you put that? How can you eat that? It's not that bad. It's a bit kind of creamy. I'm going to try the um, dip and so spicy sauce with the chicken. I've never... I never tasted anything like this. That is just wrong. Oh! It's not that bad, man. No, man, it's. It, just, it tastes horrible and tastes wrong and the texture's all wrong. <laughs> You're a brave man, I'll give you that. I can't, I, I can't deal with this. 
Okay, so just have to stick with the chicken and the bread. I can't deal with this. I need to wash my mouth. Like, I don't know if you've seen like, a reaction like that from me on camera. This is by far the strangest thing I've, I've ever eaten. This is by far the worst thing I've ever eaten. I've eaten some bad things in my life. This is by far the most disgusting things I've ever eaten. The, it just tastes really wrong. I don't know how you can possibly put that in your mouth. Luckily, it only costs 39 quid. I'm not, oh, that guy, gosh. Mate, it, it reminds me of creamy mashed potatoes, to be honest. Moldy creamy mashed potatoes. I wouldn't agree with moldy. Sorry, man, I'm out. All right, more for me, I guess. Okay, so the stinky mandarin fish has arrived and, and I don't know if you can see that, I smell. I'd rather not. <laughs> it smells quite stinky to be fair. I mean, when to be fair, the tofu smells quite bad and I didn't mind it, so <sighs> who knows, maybe I'll like the fish. I don't know why we're doing this. Like, I'm thinking, like, okay, let's, let's, let's do it for the viewers. But this is the most famous dish in Anhui, and it doesn't sound appetizing in the least, does it? Stinky mandarin fish. No, no, no. If someone recommended this to me to eat, I would pick literally anything else or just go to a different restaurant. So apparently what they say is they kind of ferment the fish and so it doesn't go off. Apparently um, it's a way of preserving it, right? That's why it has that smell, but apparently when you eat it, it's really intense flavor. So. Let's try it. On chef. I mean, it doesn't taste bad, but it doesn't taste particularly good. Either. It doesn't taste really good, does it? It doesn't taste like anything. It doesn't taste stinky. It doesn't stink. Let's. Let's get that straight, it doesn't really stink, but... Yeah, yeah, it's it's not the worst thing I've ever eaten, definitely not, but it's not as good as this Alright, let's try this again. I mean, maybe third, third time lucky, eh? Let's, yeah. let's try dipping it in this lick, saucy... In the fermentation sauce. Dip it in the smelly thing, and then put it in our mouths. I'll be honest, the third time tastes much better, actually. Dare I say, dare I say, it gets better with each bite. Yeah, it grows on you. No, no. It doesn't taste that bad anymore. I think once you get that smell past you, you're fine. Yeah, I, I agree. I agree completely. In fact, it actually tastes quite nice. It's a very acquired taste. But once you acquire it, it yeah. tastes great. It's definitely... It's got, um, it's quite addictive, I'll say. Who knows, you might, we, we might turn into regular customers of this uh, restaurant. It's a very rich, creamy taster. It's not bad, not bad, not bad. Okay, I will say this is the main event. This is sexy. The braised pork, the red braised pork of Hongshao Road. So this is famous all throughout China. I don't know if this actually comes from Anhui, but Anhui is very famous for stewing 
bracing. This is literally stewed braced pork belly. Look at the look at the fat to lean ratio of this. I think I found one that's just all fat. Cheers, dude. Cheers to all fat. That is succulent. That's amazing. Oh, that is amazing. Let's let's try that again. I mean, one simply you can't you can't review on that. Yeah. Oh wow. Yeah. This is so good. Look how soft it is. Look how soft and jiggly it is. Yeah, it's soft and it just it melts in your mouth. It Definitely. really does. Definitely. Oh, dude. That's something else. That is something else. It's the slightly sweet, right? And so Love. hearty. So hearty. Mm. This is one word I can describe for all the dishes that we had today. Party, yeah, yeah. It feels like, again, like I said earlier, it feels like something your mother or father would make you when you're feeling sick. If you got like a bad cold or bad flu, uh, this would be what this would be what they feed you. Home style. Yeah, yeah. home style. Yeah. And another thing is, is it's not really extravagant. You know, you you wouldn't really serve this at a banquet, but. I will happily eat this, minus the tofu though, I will happily eat all of this because it feels really warm, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah that's a good way to describe it, warm. So, we just had a pretty amazing meal. Which one was your favourite, Darren? Uh, my favourite was the pork because of how succulent the meat was and how it really just melted in my mouth the second I ate it. The pork was, yeah, the pork was definitely right up there. It's, it's very hearty, definitely. I say that's probably our second favourite, right? The oh, one yeah, pot the, chicken. The, yeah, the hot pot chicken uh, was great. And uh, yeah, so you mean about like how it makes you, how they use it as medicinal purposes, because like there's a lot of garlic in this dish that's uh, really, and uh, garlic obviously really good for the common cold. So see what you mean when you talk about the food having medicinal purposes. So I think that we actually hunt the chickens themselves back in the days and then cooking it. It's very hunter gatherer. Oh wow. Yeah, um, cooking style. But the pork was definitely, so Anhui cuisine is known for braising. So these dishes are basically all braised and it's definitely yeah amazing the mandarin fish i'm not really a big fan of what do you think um yeah it's it's all right with the sauce but like it's not that amazing it tastes a lot better than it smells but uh, yeah it's not the i've eaten fish before that's way better than that like uh I fish uh, in Ningbo, which I believe was cooked Ningbo style. That was much better than yeah, this. Yeah, yeah, for sure. The rabbit's leg, though, rabbit itself was on point. The rabbit's leg, yeah, the rabbit's leg was great, actually. It was it really seasoned great. perfectly. Yeah, perfectly seasoned, perfectly cooked. Yeah, great The food. one bad thing I'll say I had during this meal was that hairy tofu stuff. I don't know why people eat it. I don't know who created it. It just shouldn't be a thing. Do you think it started off as a joke and then people started liking it? Uh, like someone played know. a prank on someone else, I doubt but it, it just got out of hand. I doubt it. It's, it's very intense. I mean, if if you can if you can eat that hairy tofu without gagging, like you have my respect. You have my respect today. Like I, 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 I can't do it. But where like. So what do you think of Anhui cuisine then? If, if you tried other cuisines like Sichuan cuisine, Cantonese cuisine? Um, honestly, I think, well, I understand why Anhui cuisine hasn't really uh, found itself a customer base outside of China. Just having gotten past the smell and eaten it, yeah, it's really, really, really good. Like, especially this pork dish and this chicken dish. The tofu and the fish, I'm not so hot on, but this pork dish and this um, chicken dish right here, really nice. Yeah, no. Um, and the rabbits for legs as well. It's interesting like, that, that we say that it hasn't really made a name for itself in the West, but you know, when you look at a menu, nowhere in the world, apart from maybe China itself, that you think stinky Mandarin fish, you're not really gonna order it. But as you say, you know, once you 
bypass the smell. It actually tastes quite good, but it's not my go-to choice. But the rest of it, like the stews and the braising dishes, are definitely very hearty. I feel at home while I'm eating it. I think that's that's the special point about this whole cuisine. It's very um, healthy, hearty, rustic. Yeah, yeah, Hel hearty and rustic. Did you enjoy yourself today, mate? I enjoyed it, I enjoyed it a lot, yeah. This is a lovely meal to start the day. Yeah, I think um, I think this should just definitely be eye-opening. Yeah. Well, until next time, bye. Bye-bye.